plague this for a week and replace it with a rather warmer southerly. But the transition zone, and that happens during Saturday, will be a rather cloudy affair for most of us. Some nice evening sunshine now, though, and I've highlighted the area, but this thicker cloud is already bringing drizzle into Cornwall, and a definite band of rain has showed up, now moving slowly up in towards Ulster. There's the larger picture this afternoon. If I get rid of the cloud, show you what the general picture is, an anti-cyclone sat over us today. We replaced that largely with this frontal system creeping in and depression forming over the near continent. Now, really, that just means that rain is more likely in the south than it otherwise would have been. We start off, though, with a very light rain moving in overnight, drizzle and what have you, hill fog, Cornwall and to David and in towards Northern Ireland. And that should stop a frost, I would have thought, in this part. But further east, where the skies will be largely clear, temperatures will hover around about 1, 0, maybe in the Vale of York, and white grass is certainly possible for a lot of the eastern side of the British Isles. Early frost there, but also some nice early sunshine. The rain, of course, will be further west, not very heavy yet, but I think it might turn a little bit heavier as it edges eastward, particularly across the Channel Isles and in through the Channel. At the same time, showers are likely to break out in the Midlands and maybe the southeast of England. Much of eastern England, the eastern Scotland, even northern Scotland should stay fine and dry until the end of the day. Now, inland, the breeze should be quite light, so 13 or 14, a fairly typical temperature, middle 50s Fahrenheit will feel quite fine. Slightly different story still, I'm afraid, for the East Coast. There'll be an onshore breeze up through England and through Scotland. In fact, most of Scotland have had that fairly cold breeze. That, I'm afraid, will keep temperatures ag again down to about 9 or 10 degrees. So go west for a while. Changes on Sunday, though, quite considerably. The rain, if there's any left in the southeast, will clear quickly away in the morning. It'll be rather more lingering over the extreme north of England and over Scotland. And here again, there could be some heavy bursts in the morning. But by the afternoon, sunshine rains the sun cloud for most of the country, Shetland possibly staying wet. And the wind direction's changed now, we're into a southerly. So temperatures inland could be as high as maybe 15 or 16 for England and Wales, and not a bad 15 for the lowlands of Scotland. It'll be a little bit colder across the east coast, the far northeast of Scotland, but not bad, nevertheless.